Hi, my name is Jan Kielstein and I welcome you to our short tutorial on how to connect the Seraph blood affinity filter with a regular hemodialysis machine. Let's go first through the components you need for that. The core of the treatment is the Seraph blood affinity filter which comes in a sterile wrapping and it's determined for single use only. With the filter comes a blood tubing that connects the filter to the dialysis circuit and this one also has an access port to draw blood. In order to flush the filter you either need one liter of sterile saline or you use the priming procedure of the dialysis machine with online dialysate. In case there are stubborn gas bubbles forming in the filter or the blood tubing, you need um, additionally three more things. This would be a 40 to 60 ml syringe that is filled with normal saline and of course that saline should be accessed by using a mini spike. In addition to those components you also need female Lure blood tubing to connect the filter to the dialysis tubing system. Before beginning, firmly secure the seraph in the vertical position, paying attention to the fact that the arrow is pointing up. Then you take a saline tubing and connect this to the arterial port of the seraph tilting the seraph by 90 degrees and connecting the saline line to the arterial port of the seraph which afterwards is tilted back in its original position. The venous port of the seraph is then connecting to a discard bag in no touch technique. Now after everything is connected you can start the rinsing of the seraph. During the priming procedure please pay attention to air bubbles forming especially in the outlet area of the filter. If this happens gently tap on the side of the filter to allow air bubbles to be removed. In order to remove stubborn air bubbles that sometimes form at the inlet port of the seraph please turn the device upside down so that the flow arrow is now pointing downwards. Then disinfect the tubing port and please pay attention to the necessary time for this step. Clamp the tubing distal of the port and now connect the syringe to the tubing port and push the last remaining air bubbles out of the seraph. Please prime your ordinary hemodialysis machine as usual. In case that you have a substitution fluid pump for online hemodiafiltration, pay attention that you do not insert the tubing into the pump segment. The next step is to connect the arterial blood line that usually is connected to the dialysis catheter to a bag of normal saline. The arterial blood line that comes from the machine and usually goes into the dialyzer is now connected to the inlet port of the seraph. Before you do that, please pay attention that you de-air the tubing before you connect it to the seraph. The outlet port of the seraph is not yet connected to the other part of the dialysis system but to a tubing in a discard bag and the reason for that is that your seraph first needs rinsing. When you fill and de-air the seraph, please pay attention that you set the blood pump speed to 150 milliliters per minute. In case there are any stubborn bubbles forming up, 
you need to stop the filling process and turn the device in a 180 degree angle and then use a syringe to get rid of the last stubborn bubbles. Now disconnect the tubing and the discard bag you used for de-airing and flushing the system and connect in no-touch technique the venous port of the seraph with the arterial port of the dialyzer in series. We have now finalized the preparation of our seraph blood affinity filter combination with a standard dialysis machine. Now you can connect the arterial blood line to the central venous catheter or dialysis fistula of your patient and the blood will then first be, go through the seraph and afterwards through the dialyzer of our regular dialysis machine. I wish you the most possible success for the treatment.